Hey everyone, it's Lindsay, and this is a tutorial on how I paint my nails. I get questions pretty frequently about, you know, what kind of products I use, how I get my manicures to look the way they do, how I get them so shiny, how I get them to last. So I figured the easiest way is just to do a tutorial to show you how I paint my nails. It's really basic, um, but I do have a couple of tips first, and some of them I also talk about, you know, during the tutorial. But the first thing that I can suggest is to paint your dominant hand first. I am right-handed, so I paint my right hand first. And the reason for that is because it is harder for me to paint using my left hand, so I'd rather do that with dry nails rather than, you know, if that makes sense. If I paint, you know, my left hand first with dry nails, well, that's already so easy. Well, then when I go to paint my right hand, then my nails are wet, so that just adds a whole nother, you know, difficulty factor there. That really only applies for the first coat if you have wet nails after that, but for at least the first coat, it really makes a difference for me. Uh, the second little tip that I have is to work from your pinky into your thumb. Work away from you and move in. That way, uh, you're not, you have less of a chance to scuff your nails if you're, you know, going across them than if you're coming towards you, you know, the wet nail can dry over here while you're working on the next one. Um, if you are not used to painting your nails, if you don't paint them very often, if you feel like you're not very good at painting your nails, the nail polish that you use is really important. Start with a sheer light colored polish. Um, they're just the easiest to work with. And you know, some of those colors that those real light baby pinks that are very opaque and milky, they are the hardest polishes that I find to work with because to get a nice smooth edge along your cuticle is so hard. So something that is, you know, more closer to a natural skin tone, you know, will hide so many imperfections and something that is a little bit sheer that, um, you know, if you go a little bit too close to your cuticle, you're not going to really see it. Those are really easy polishes to work with and they're best to start out with if you're not used to painting your nails. And then the last thing, this is the biggest tip that I can give to make your manicure look beautiful, polished, and professional is to stay away from your cuticles. And that is the biggest thing I see um, people have struggle, like, struggle with and that's what is the first thing that makes it look sloppy. Uh, you do not want to get the nail polish near your cuticles because as soon as it touches your cuticle, it looks uneven, it looks sloppy, it, when that polish dries, it gets kind of crusty looking on your cuticles, it just doesn't look good. So, you know, really take your time and focus on not going all the way to your cuticle and it will just make it look so much smoother, so much nicer. That's like the biggest thing I can tell you and I say that in the video too. Um, but I... I love my nails. I love painting my nails. I love nail polish. I paint my nails every two days, every three days, just because I'm, I love changing colors. I love actually painting my nails. Like it's, I, it's just fun for me to paint my nails. So because of that, I've gotten so much practice at it. And that is the, the biggest thing. It takes practice. Um, it takes time to learn how to steady your hand, how to best paint your nails, because everybody's nail shape is different. Um, it just takes practice, so don't get frustrated. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. I show you in the video how to, you know, how I clean it up with my fingernail, or I take those Q-tips that have the point, I use them for makeup cleanup, and I also use them, if you really make a mistake, you can dip a little nail polish remover on them and then clean up a little bit. But I know some people paint their nails, you know, just pretty sloppy, just get them painted, and then they take the Q-tip and go and clean up. And if that works for you, that's great. For me, I feel like that is so much harder to get a nice look than if you just take your time and do it slow and do it right from the beginning. Um, because it stains your cuticles, it's hard on your cuticles. So that's just, that's how I do this. And I never pay for a professional manicure unless I'm going on vacation and really want shellac or something like that. Other than that, I just, I can get the same exact look at home, save so much money. For the price of a manicure, I can buy two, three, four bottles of nail polish to, you know, play with and broaden my collection and be able to use for years. So for me, it just makes sense to paint my nails at home and I hope that this tutorial helps you. And if you have any questions at all, please leave me a comment and ask. I'm happy to help and I hope you enjoy it. So keep watching.
So right now the only thing I have on my nails is one coat of Nailteaks Formula 2 Nail Protein. Uh, my nails were just peeling a little bit this past time I took my nail polish off. And I'm not sure if it's because I haven't been using Nailteaks in a long time or if it's because last time I filed my nails I used a really harsh nail file rather than my crystal nail file that I always use and I think that was really hard on them. And I also left my nail polish on probably way too long, <laughs> uh, multiple days longer than I should have. And so it started to crack and I think that can be harder on your nails sometimes than actually having no polish on at all. So all in all, I felt like my nails could use this, so I did one coat of that. And I'm just showing, this is just a Mary Kay powder. I'm just using that to get my nails at a better angle here for you. So the first step is to apply a coat of the Revlon Color Stay Gel Smooth Base Coat. This is the key to getting your manicure to last like nothing else I've ever tried. I've used every base coat under the sun. I mean, you name it, I have used it. I have never found anything to prolong my nail polish longer than any other thing out there. This, I can go three, four days plus with a beautiful manicure with no chips and I that's just unheard of for me. So. Uh, yeah, highly, highly recommend this. The first thing I do is I just kind of clean off one side of my brush so that there's, you know, enough on the other side. And then I just put a pretty thin layer on this. And this is a wide brush, which I happen to like. I know not everybody does like that. Um, and you'll see... You know, I just do a thin coat and then with everything I always cap the free edge of my nail. I think that just really helps to seal everything in and make it last longer. Um, so I'll do this nail too. Got a little bit more on that one and then seal the free edge like that. And that um, is your first coat. I just let this dry for a couple minutes and then I move on to my color. So this has been drying for a couple minutes. So the color that I chose to do my nails this time is OPI red lights ahead wear and this was from i think a collection last year this is in my top three favorite summer nail polishes or basically nail polishes of all time it is just the best color you can still find it on ebay and online and things like that it's just the oh, i just i'm in love with this and it's a great formula so what i do again just like i did with the base coat is just kind of clean off one side of the brush and then I also sometimes will clean the brush so it's just kind of got a ball of the color at the base of the brush. Then I kind of put it not all the way to my cuticle, push it down a little bit and pull out. Then go to the other side and the final side. And that's basically it and then I cap the free edge which again looks nice and also is really important to keep the manicure looking nice. I like to do it in three strokes. Sometimes, ooh, I've used a lot of this. Sometimes you need to smooth over it in more than three coats. This one, this nail polish happens to have an like excellent formula. So I really usually don't need to, but um, the problem with going over it again and again and again, is you, especially with this base coat, you can start to pick up color because this, as soon as you start applying the nail polish, it starts to dry and it changes consistency. So like if I messed up on a spot on this nail, like I didn't go out as wide as probably as I would have wanted to, but I'm not gonna touch that up now because it would start to pucker where the edge of the brush was and it would start to lift up the color that's underneath it. So you really wanna try and do it nice long even strokes and as few strokes as possible. So I'll go and do my index finger here and same thing. I kind of start in the middle and then push it down. And the biggest thing I can say is do not go to your cuticle. It can be tempting to make, you want to make your nails look longer or it can just be hard, but that is the number one thing that makes a manicure look sloppy is when it starts to touch the cuticle. So keep it, you know, far enough away that it doesn't look, I mean, you don't want it so far away, it looks crazy, but you want it to be able to get a nice smooth line there. And I always paint my thumbs last so that if, you know, it happens, if you get it on your cuticle, 
I take my thumb and I just kind of scrape it and clean it up. And then that works almost every time. Uh, when your nails are short, like mine are pretty short right now, I've chopped them. Sometimes when capping the free edge, you can get nail polish on your skin. Either I go back with my thumbnail and, you know, kind of scrape that off or later I will take a pointed Q-tip with a little nail polish remover and just, you know, get it then. But that is our first coat. I will let this dry about three minutes and I'll come back for the second coat. Okay, time for coat number two. Now with the first coat, I try and be pretty precise and really get a nice smooth line along the bottom and the sides. And for the second coat, I'm really trying to build up the opacity and make sure that it's smooth and not streaky. So for the first coat, often, now this polish is seriously amazing. So not very streaky at all, but usually the first coat is pretty streaky, but I'm just trying to get that nice line. The second coat, I'll do a little more and move a little, sometimes a little faster and try and get, you know, try and get it nice and full coverage. And then cap the edge just like that. stick in there. There we go. And that's it. Now the next thing is I let it this dry for about two minutes, no more, and then I'll go over with my top coat. Time for top coat. I am using out the door top coat. This I have seen forever, just this is the first time I've picked it up. I've been using it for probably about two weeks now. I like it, I like Seshvit better. I think Seshvit is shinier and it stays shinier longer, but, and I'm sure this one will be the same way, Seshvit gets very thick. Um, I usually just use nail polish thinner to thin it out and it's no problem, but I have this one I've been using it, so I'm gonna use it. And right now my Seshvit only has a tiny bit left and it's very thick. So, and the reason why I say wait two minutes pretty you know no more for top coat is because with these kind of fast drying top coats you want your nail polish to be wet and I f and that's how they work the best I don't know if they just kind of like melts in with all the layers um, but it just I will never not use a fast drying top coat they just they dry all of the layers so quickly so again I just I I use a decent amount of top coat I really like it to coat and these also these fast dry top coats can kind of shrink and so even though I'm like really spreading it all throughout my nail sometimes when they dry you can see that they've kind of shrunk up and only don't cover all the way to the outside um, I don't know why that is if it's just part of the fast drying you know quality of it but so I, I you know I coat them pretty pretty thickly and get a nice amount of polish on there cap the free edge let them dry, you know, I don't go washing dishes or anything right away. Let them dry for, you know, they'll be dry to the touch in a couple of minutes, but all the way through, it'll take at least an hour. I mean, if you took your fingernail and scratched it or something, it would come off. But um, other than that, they'll be good to go in a, in a couple minutes and you can, you can go on your way. So that's the tutorial. That is how I get, you know, beautiful, professional looking manicures at home. It's pretty simple. So that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know and have an awesome day. See you everybody.